Hi there, it's Mary Charlson here from 5minutemarketing.com. Welcome back. This week we're taking a look at the notion of word of mouth and how to reach a million people through a word of mouth. And some people might think initially, well, how the heck do you do that? Uh, if I'm a sm especially if I'm a small business, I don't have big, big, huge media budgets. I'll let you know that this all started with a statement which I heard made by Matthew Sweezy, who is the principal of Marketing Insights at Salesforce. Shared it at a retreat uh, that Mark Schaefer hosted. And this was this, on average, 135 people have the same social reach as a brand with a million followers. Thought thinking about how it would work because we know that 10% of the population are what we call super sharers. So these are people who have quite a significant reach, but love to share things. They're what we would call advocates, uh, not influencers, not paid influencers, but they're simply people who love to share. Of that 135 people, 10% of them, roughly 14 people, are super sharers. And I applied a number of 37,000 in terms of their reach. And I don't think that's inconceivable when we take a look at things like their LinkedIn profile, potential reach on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and just them, their social circles, both at work as well as uh, their friendships and their reach. Potentially, that number could even be quite conservative for that 10% of the population. Then we take a look at the other 90% of the population, which would be in our 135 sample, roughly 121 people, and we say they have a reach of, say, 4,000. And again, not inconceivable when we take a look at all the social platforms and their in-person at work as well as social friends circle that uh, they would be in contact with. We do the numbers game on that and it comes out to a million people. So, Mary, but how do I get 135 people to actually have something to talk about and to share? And that's where I come back to, again, a numbers game where I go, okay, a thousand true fans. A thousand true fans, if you take a look at those numbers, you go 20% of them that share some stuff out easily we've got something there that's going to look like 135 people even between 500 and a thousand true fans if we give them you know one in five people will share something if we give them something significant to talk about and a few tips on that just uh, four quick points here um, first off is obviously to understand that an advocate is not an influencer they're not paid that's that 10 percent of the population and that's just any kind of sample so we use that in word of mouth to our advantage, knowing that there are advocates mixed in with that general population. So making sure that we have a touch point with those advocates. The other thing is understanding that the ideal story is authentic, interesting, and relevant. So authentic, it's gotta be obviously believable and obviously has to be true. Uh, it's interesting in terms of it makes you go, wow. Uh, Sam Horn talks about, you know, the eyebrow, right? Like do the eyebrows go up, do somebody goes, wow, that's really interesting then we know we've got something of interest. The other thing is relevant, something that, um, you know, that enough people will talk about. Is it relevant to them? Why should I care? And if we can get authentic, interesting, and relevant all firing at once, we've got something that's magic. The other thing is to show up where uh, people will care, right? Uh, get, uh, get out and talk to people, uh, be patient and persistent, but um, be active in key communities. And uh, that's not something that's gonna happen over time, that's something that you nurture over time, both online as well as off. And the, finally, uh, the final thing is, is to measure your results, but measure it indirectly. Um, word of mouth isn't gonna show up on the bottom line, uh, bottom line tomorrow. Uh, it's not a quick fix, uh, but it's a slow, progressive boil. And uh, you can't um, predict when organic conversations will take place, but we can look for evidence of it in metrics that we can measure, things like website traffic, uh, inquiries by email or by phone, or just general talk and chatter that we pick up uh, when we're out there uh, networking and talking to people, as well as obviously social media mentions, uh, rating sites, that kind of thing. We can see when things start to percolate and, and come up. In a nutshell, is how we reach a million people. It's a great way to give yourself leverage as a small business uh, to realize that you don't have to have a million followers and be super, super active on all of the platforms. You just have to have between 500 and 1,000 true, true fans and give them something worthy to talk about, both something worthy to share and uh, then just leverage the heck out of it and let them do your marketing for you. That's all we've got for you this morning. Thanks for joining us on 5minutemarketing.com. We'll see you next episode.